Well, Cyclone Dana has made landfall on the Odisha coast. Of course, heavy rain and strong winds being reported in various parts of Odisha. In fact, uh, wind speeds uh, gusting up to almost 120 kilometers per hour being reported uh, in Odisha. Of course, West Bengal also on alert. Now, remember, both uh, Kolkata and Bhubaneswar airports are shut. They will reopen at 9 a.m. Authorities are on alert. Also remember reports of trees being uprooted also coming in from Dhamra where uh, the uh, uh, cyclonic storm has made landfall. Look at those dramatic visuals there. In fact, people were already evacuated. Uh, what is expected as far as West Bengal and Risha are concerned uh, in the hours to come? Listen in to what the weatherman had to say. Now it is about 15 kilometer north of Dhamra and 30 kilometer north northwest of Habelikhati camp that is in uh, Bitarkanika and now the current intensity is severe cyclonic storm and wind speed is about 100 to 110 km per hour gusting to 120 km per hour and the landfill process would continue for uh, next one to two hours. It is likely to move nearly west northwestward across North Odisha and we can gradually into a cyclonic storm by forenoon of 25th October. Let me go across live to uh, Saurabh Gupta joining us from Kolkata. So Saurabh, what's the situation as we speak? Uh, the wind speed uh, gushing up to almost 120 kilometers per hour. Authorities on alert. What are you picking up? Well, yes, largely the pictures from Dhamra and uh, parts of Odisha where the cyclone has made landfall seem quite scary. Like you heard in that uh, soundbite from the Met Department, wind speeds of 110 to 120 kilometers, gusting up to 120 kilometers. And of course, like they said, you know, uh, the landfall has happened near Dhamra and Bhitarkanika. And obviously, this is something that was expected. There were evacuations. Uh, some trees have been uprooted in Dhamra is what we've been given to understand. However, the real impact of the cyclone and the assessment of what kind of damage it has caused will happen once uh, authorities step out into the field. Kolkata largely has been spared the impact of the cyclone. But behind me, you can see, of course, it's raining uh, quite heavily in Kolkata. And that's something that we are witnessing. However, winds are not very strong. They are just about light winds. Uh, in Kolkata because it's quite far away from uh, the cyclone's, uh, you know, landfall site. But in Odisha and uh, in West Bengal, and places like East Midnapur, Digha are seeing very heavy rainfall accompanied by very strong gusts of wind. Now, uh, the Chief Minister, West Bengal Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee spent the night at the state control room in at Nobanno, uh, the state secretariat. Uh, Power Minister Arup Bishas has also been monitoring the situation throughout the night. Officials will step out, step out and assess the damage in a while from now uh, and restore whatever services. The airport will open only at 9 o'clock in the morning. Uh, both Bhubaneswar and Kolkata airports which have been shut for air traffic since last evening. And also what we know is that railway services are likely to resume only after 10 a.m. when the cyclone completely makes landfall and of course uh, slowly uh, sort of de-intensifies into a cyclonic storm from a severe cyclonic storm. At this point, it has made landfall and the landfall is likely to continue for an hour or so. Uh, it has already moved northwards, uh, you know, and uh, of course, this is something the northwards and north northwestwards is some is the direction, is the trajectory of this uh, cyclone Dana, which has made landfall. Uh, windy conditions even in Kolkata, windy and rainy conditions even in Kolkata, but the situation far worse in places like East Midnapur and coastal areas of Odisha where the cyclone has made landfall.